From the Heart, our daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, A New Mind Will I Give You, January 23rd. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36 verse 26 In the Bible, the will of God is revealed. Through all time, this book is to stand as a revelation of Jehovah. To human beings, the divine oracles have been committed to be the power of God. The truths of the Word of God are not mere sentiment, but the utterances of the Most High. Those who make these truths a part of their lives become, in every sense, new creatures. They are not given new mental powers, but the darkness that through ignorance and sin has clouded their understanding is removed. The words, a new heart also will I give you, mean, a new mind will I give you. This change of heart is always attended by a clear conception of Christian duty and understanding of truth. The clearness of our views of truth will be proportionate to our understanding of the Word of God. Those who give the Scriptures close, prayerful attention will gain clear comprehension and sound judgment as if, in turning to God, they had reached a higher grade of intelligence. The Word of God, studied and obeyed as it should be, will give light and knowledge. Its perusal will strengthen the understanding. By contact with the purest, most lofty truths, the mind will be enlarged, the taste refined. We are dependent on the Bible for a knowledge of the early history of our world, of the creation of human life, and of the fall. Remove the word of God, and what can we expect but to be left to fables and conjectures and to that enfeebling of the intellect which is the sure result of entertaining error. We need the authentic history of the origin of the earth, of the fall of Lucifer, and of the introduction of sin into the world. Without the Bible, we should be bewildered by false theories. The mind would be subjected to the tyranny of superstition and falsehood. Wherever Christians are, they may hold communion with God, and they may enjoy the intelligence of sanctified science. Cleave to the word it is written. Cast out of the mind the dangerous, obtrusive theories which, if entertained, will hold the mind in bondage so that we shall not become new creatures in Christ. God be praised for this message today. Thank you for listening. Shalom.